YouTube. It's your boy, L.A. 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 Else, and we back with another video. Today, we got a honcho documentary. I guess this is just like a documentary about his beef, most wanted, Maryland, blah, 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 you feel me? So we're going to tune into this, and y'all let me know if it's accurate and valid, so I can know if I can fuck with this page more. It look like you have some good videos, so. but go ahead and smash the like button, comment for a recommendation, I want to see you here. Comment how you feel about the reaction, most importantly, that subscribe and ring that bell, shout out my post notification game. If you're not part of the post notification game, then you're not gang, you feel me? So let's tune into this video, y'all. Hey, Lex no said what pays a bitch. Jews got chopped, they've credits a stitch. To me, a stitch, they've cruised like good cars, future shit. What's that in their grave? I'm laughing. <laughs> Eunice, aka rapper A Huncho, is wanted for being one of the directors of the Alamedine gang. Stay up in the rain, slap the picture, I put on that pressure, I'm still in this shit, cause nothing. The old rapper Ali Eunice handed himself in at Parramatta Police Station early this morning alongside his lawyer. Our cameras were there as he walked through the doors of his station with his lawyer. A Huncho grew up in Maryland, which is a suburb of Greater Western Sydney. His blood runs very deep in the Sydney streets, as he's a family member of the infamous Alamedine family. A Huncho was exposed to a lot of crime as a youth. His parents got divorced at a very young age, which made him realise that he had to be the man of the house. They did their best to keep him out of trouble by sending him away to boarding school. Although nothing seemed to work as he was kicked out of four different high schools growing up. Yeah, a lot yeah. of this was due to racism, as he was the only Muslim kid in most of these schools. And he ended up fighting a lot, sticking up for his race and his family's name. Evidently, after being kicked out of so many schools, he ended up... Damn, I respect that. Off rip, I respect that. Because, nigga, as someone who's Haitian, boy. 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 In fucking 2010, nigga. Yo, I remember there was a point in time, nigga, all niggas used to talk about was Haitian this, Haitian that. So I know how bro feel, no bullshit. Most definitely, so I respect that, for sure. But Parramatta High School, where most of his friends and family were. This is where he started to get exposed to a lot of gang activity. Sure. He started fighting a lot and getting a name for himself in the streets. One positive he takes out of his schooling experience, it got him into music, as he used to sing Islamic players as a youth and realised that he had a good voice. He eventually got kicked out of school for the final time. After school, he ended up working with his old man for a short period. Even after all this, he still found himself getting into a lot of trouble and hanging around a lot of bad influences. Things were also heating up in the street for Huncho and his family. He started to have trouble with the police, and one of his best friend's sisters was fatally shot in a gangland war. His parents Damn. decided to send him to Lebanon, where his family originates from, to get his life back on track. While all this was going on, Huncho was treating music as more just a hobby and wouldn't show too many people his music. While in Lebanon, he was still running amok and couldn't stay out of trouble. He ended up finding a boxing gym. This became his new hobby and he would train every day for nearly four years straight. He eventually came back home. He was regularly going out to nightclubs. He was often cashed up and dressed in the best designer clothes. On one of these nights, his friend, who was also the DJ, invited him on stage to get on the mic. He ended up spitting some of his own bars and rapping over some classic hip hop tracks. The DJ also introduced him to producer Dopamine. He ended up locking away in the studio and recording his first ever track. Like a DJ friend of mine and then um, mm -hmm. I started like jumping on the mic at the club, you know, jeeing up the crowd. I used to go to club, then I started loving it every week. I wanted to go and like start emceeing and stuff. Yeah. And then my DJ man goes like, I got, I got links with dopamine and stuff, you know, just, let me come, let me take to the studio. I didn't know who dopamine was back then. I didn't know any Australian rappers. I didn't listen to Australian hip hop, nothing. So when I went to the studio, I met Dopamine, I met, um, I already knew Manu Crooks, I met Anne Faroz, Faroz yep. um, and then I made my first song, Lifestyle 100 with Dopamine, yep. and then I didn't want to drop it, I'm like, should I actually do this music stuff, and the boys read me up, like, yeah, you have to do this and that, I'm like, fuck, I dropped it, got good recognition from it, and then the ball just kept rolling since then, you know. His music was starting to gain some traction, but he hadn't yet found his true sound. 
He also wasn't taking music that seriously as he was still very heavy in the city streets. It wasn't until he took more of a melodic style approach to his music and dropped his track Diamonds, which now has 200,000 views just on YouTube. A lot of international artists such as A Boogie with the Hoodie, Gibbs and Tory Lanez would hit him up when they were touring in Sydney and he would take them out on expensive yachts and throw them parties. I think he dropped his album Hoodie Season. I was How does that know that? I heard he was coming to Sydney, so I had a mutual friend that had a connection with him, uh, yeah. with his management, and I told him that, like, you know, we run the city, so yeah. why not come and spend some time with us? <laughs> I you love know, that. We'll, sh we'll show you a good time. That's so, it. You know, throw parties, roll around in the best cars, this and that. And who's going to say no to that, right? Yeah, no way, no one will. I mean, I've, I've kicked the heaps of artists that come here, like Tiger, Tory Lanez, WizKid, Able yeah. Gear, Gigs, Black. I've showed them, but every time they come to Sydney, they're like, Hunch has them in. He even states that he has a track with A Boogie in the vault. He's also a part of Beyordy Music, owned by Loki. This is also home to acts such as Young and Lips, Pistol Pete and Enzo, and Valley Boy. Oh, Beyordy Music? Yeah, which is, yeah, which is. Oh, well, they got Valley Boy too? Label. They obviously have Young and Lips and a few other artists on the, on the record. Gotta start doing more Valley Boy reaction, I gotta show. A label. Yeah, that shit's like a family, bro. It's not even a label for me, you know? It's like, a family. It's how, long, how long you guys been met with, with uh, Beyordy? I think I've been with him for like, close to. Oh, that's years. why they drop. Yeah, yeah. It always yeah. says be all you when he drops. Crazy. And they don't get in the way of your music. They allow I you to, to be the... truly nah, you are, nah, express nah. yourself as a. I thought Beardy was the fucking, the the videographer. No cap. It's Others? the best. It's the best label you can ever ask for. That's like. excellent. That's the vibe we want. Shout out to Beardy, man. Nah, yeah, hundred percent. Shout out to Low Key and Matt. You know the whole team. They always. They're always on my back to keep working harder too, you know, so. In 2020, he dropped another massive track for his career titled My City with Hooks and Massanova. And now has nearly 500,000 views just on YouTube. Music was now becoming a priority for Huncho. He went on to do a remix of Whoopty with Nasanova, which now has half a million views on YouTube. But it was early 2021 that he dropped his biggest track yet, titled Upgrade with Mike Acox and Young oh, no. Moves. And now has nearly 2 million views just on Spotify. Also in 2021, he dropped a fan favourite track titled Purpose. While musically, things were going well for Huncho. Police were still harassing him, raiding his home frequently, and never allowing him to do any live shows. Then, at the end of 2021, police put a warrant out for Huncho's arrest. He was allegedly involved in a violent brawl at a boxing match. He eventually surrendered to police and was taken into custody. Ali Yunus handed himself in at Parramatta Police Station early this morning alongside his lawyer. Our cameras were there as he walked through the doors of his station with his lawyer, Abdul Sadiq, and a family member, and he's now in custody talking to police. He then got bail. He wasted no time at all getting back into the studio. He dropped a two-track EP titled Enemy of the State and shook the rap game up like we've never seen before. On the EP was the track Putrid Shit where he takes that shots at several fire. members of a rap group, one four. Hey. Let's not send what piece of bitch. Cruz not chop the freeze a stitch. To miss a stitch, they cruise like good cut putrid shit. Four boys down in their grave, I'm laughing. Should have put her on the vest. Four five got nine, but rust is this for ten or blind for head. First verse was flip and packs. Then they flipped on each other and turned into rats. We we got sticks and gats. Thirty or thirty with proper and then that's back. And then that's back. Grim Reaper took all your friends, cause both just wrecked them. Grim was sick. Track had the whole scene talking like I've never seen before, and everyone was waiting for one four to reply. He again showed no signs of slowing down and kept the momentum going by dropping a track called Night Riders with hooks, pulling in Nasanova and Enzo. He also teases that his next music video was shot in Mount Druitt, which is home of one four. As for now, A Hunter awaits his trial. Musically, I think 2022 has been his best year yet. He also said that he wants to start becoming a good role model and setting a good example for kids in his area. For now, all we can do is sit and wait for Huncho to drop some new music. This has been the story so far by Desired Oz Rap. See, I'm just going to like stay focused on my music right now. Like, mm. I'm obviously at a place where I've been working hard to get to. Mm. So I'm going to use that. You know, I'm just taking a little break next month due to like Ramadan and stuff. So yep. I'm just going to like focus on religion, you know, just getting closer to, to God as well. Yeah, yeah. But you already know, like, the music's coming full force after that, too. It's know? there. It's, yeah. it's there. Are we going to hear any of the melodic stuff going back to it, or are we sticking with this? I mean, there's some melodic stuff in the bank, and I obviously always, like, experiment mm -hmm. new melodic stuff, too. But, like, right now, I'll just, like, I feel like I'm in a time of my life where people want to hear 
this rap shit. So well, I'm, I'm loving this shit, bro. I've been listening to your stuff for the last couple of years, bro. And I'm telling you now, this stuff, like, I've had it on repeat, bro. Nah, I appreciate it. If you want to catch up with all the latest hip hop and RB, head over to Take Flight. Might have to follow that page the for sure. Be in the show notes. Also, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share as much as possible. I feel like, I don't know, but I feel like that was a pretty good informational video from that page. Y'all can let me know if it was in the comments, but I feel like it was pretty good and informational, you feel me, and it was valid facts. With that being said, I feel like I learned some shit about a Honcho, man. But go ahead and smash the like button, comment for more recognition, I want to see it here. Comment on how you feel about the reaction, most importantly, better subscribe and ring that bell, shout out my post notification game. If you're not part of post notification game, you're not game, you feel me? But it's your boy, L-A, 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 L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-